Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Landon Productions. Do you guys remember the teams that got disqualified from badminton? Because they weren't trying. They are actually trying to lose their matches just so that the second round match, they can have a better match of winning. Because China was playing Japan, and if China wins, they would have to play China, which means that China's going to get eliminated, which means two of the teams aren't going to get on the podium. So if China loses against Japan, they will get matched up to someone else, and then China and China will be able to meet in the finals. And if Japan wins, then then they're gonna have to play China. And China is a second round, uh, a second place team, which means they're the second best of the whole competition. So it's gonna be hard for Japan to medal. So in this game, I actually got a chance to watch it. It was freaking ridiculous. China versus Japan. This is the uh, number one seeded team and the third seeded team, and it just looks so freaking ridiculous. All, all they did was pretty much hit their serves into the net. I honestly couldn't believe it when they when I heard that they were trying to lose their match. I thought maybe okay they they would have some rallies and they would just hit it out on purpose but make it look good. But no, the whole like three four minutes of the whole game they hit it into the net and the refs. Came out and said, okay, guys, you guys are going to get disqualified if you guys keep doing this because this is the Olympics. You're supposed to try to win the match. But, anyways, so because China, the number one ranked team, and Japan, the third ranked team, got eliminated, this put Canada into the, the top eight teams, which means they can qualify for the medals if they win the next few matches. So, today they're matched up with Japan, and even if they lose this match, if they win the next match after this or the one after that in the next few days, they can medal. They can get a bronze medal. And did you guys know that in the history of badminton of the Olympics, there's actually been no team to win a medal, not even a bronze medal, other than China and Japan. They usually have more than one teams in the in the sport. Let me know what you guys think. Is this fair that it's only one country or two countries dominating the sport? And what do you guys think of Canada? Canada can actually medal for the first time ever in history. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Peace.